Hi, I'll be showing the Unity PSD Importer open source project. This is a importer that can take PSD files inside Unity and import the individual layers to Unity. So the first thing that I'll be showing is the installation process. So if you go to my GitHub, um, to the GitHub repository, which I'll be linking in the description below, the DLL can be downloaded here. Look for compiled DLL and just download that file. So let's go back to Unity. So what we need to do in Unity is to have a special folder called Editor. You might have one already existing in your project, but if not, just create a, create that folder called Editor. So now that we have that folder, all that we need to do is copy the DLL from um, into that folder. And when you go back to Unity, it'll compile for a bit. And once that's done, the installation process is complete. So now that we have the importer installed, let's take a look at how to use it. I have a PSD file inside Unity, so if you open it up, you can see that I have a lot of layers here that I'd like to get into Unity, and ideally I'd like to have them assembled as how they appear inside the Photoshop document. So switch back, switching back to Unity, right click on the PSD file and select PSD Importer. So any layer that is visible here in the importer will be imported when you press the import button here. But first I have to explain some of the import settings. Um, for the most part, the settings are the same as what you have for your regular 2D, um, 2D sprites. For example, you have the packing tag, you have pixels to unit size or pixels per unit here, and you have the pivot. Uh, one of the more important things that I have to explain here is the source image scale. So sometimes your PSD images are created maybe larger than what you intend for uh, to use in the game. With the importer, you don't have to scale them uh, scale it manually anymore. What you can do is you go to the source image scale and decide how much to scale it down by. So at 1x, there is no scaling that happens. At 2x, um, the Photoshop document will be scaled down by 50%. And at 4x, the, image, the PSD document is scaled down to 25%. The other important um, setting is the import path. So if this setting is left empty, the, la the image layers will be placed in the same folder as the PSD file. For this demo, I'd like to have the layer all of these layers go into um, the folder called dog layers. So if, if you select import path, you'll be able to select the folder that you want the layers to go to. So I'll select that folder. Um, the other important thing before hitting import is the default pivot. Uh, it probably it'll how you how you use this will probably depend on how you're on what you are importing. But for this PSD file, I would like to set it to uh, custom pivot. So as you can see here in the layers um, view, you can um, all the pivots have been set to custom but I want to set the face to, uh, to the center first for now. You'll notice that there are there isn't an option to set the custom pivot for each layer here, but there is a custom pivot option here down here in the import settings. So what this does is it applies this initial custom pivot to all of the layers, but once you've imported the images, you can set the pivots manually on the images themselves later. 
So for now, that's all I have to explain for the import settings. There is a auto import setting here, but I'll leave that ex explanation for later. So hit save import settings before before doing anything else. And then let's hit import layers. So depending on the complexity and size of your PSD file, this might take uh, this might take you a while. But once that is done, if you check the dog layers folder, you can see that the layers have been exported automatically. So now that we have the layer images imported into Unity, I can show you how the sprite creation function works. So what uh, the sprite creation function does is it takes layer groups inside the PSD and recreates them exactly how they are inside Unity. So you can use this for sprites, for backgrounds, for UIs. I'm, I'm using a character for this demo, so for that I'd like to be, to be able to animate some things. So as I mentioned before, you can set the custom pivots after you've imported them. So let's open up the, le the front leg and just set the pivot here. For other, th if you're doing things like say UI, you don't really need to do that for, uh, you don't really, you probably won't need to do that step, but for characters, it's probably something that you want to do. And um, then we can recreate the layer groups inside Unity now. So select layer groups and open up sprite creation here. So the um, as a character, I want to create it. I want to create it as two D sprites. So I'll just um, press this button here. But one thing I might want to do is set the alignment for where I want the root of the layer group to appear. So I want it to appear in the bottom center here. The custom doesn't really work, so just, just um, take that and keep that in mind. Just keep uh, keep the one of the, these other alignment settings. So I'll create two of these sprites here. And here it is here's the character inside Unity. Without any manual assembly, all the assembly I did was in was the thing I already did in Photoshop. So if you go to the body and you go to the f leg front, you can see you can animate. You'll be able to animate it here in Unity. Um, the next, the other thing you can do for with the sprite creation is recreate PSDs inside inside um, Unity UI systems. So let's ignore that this isn't really a UI image, but if we create a UI panel here and select it. You can see that the create UI image button gets enabled here. Uh, if you select if you select anything else that's not a that's not part of a UI hierarchy, um, the UI you won't be able to create a UI image. So select the panel. We have the panel selected, and we press create UI images, and yep, the object the the layer group gets recreated inside the inside Unity. So obviously there's still some bugs here right now. Um, layer groups get uh, have the wrong order but that's something I might fix later but for now um, just manually you can manually set that up and have it appear properly. So that's the basic rundown for uh, how you create um, how you you can recreate you can use the sprite creation system to bring in um, UIs that yeah, you've laid out in Photoshop. So, moving on to the final function that I want to show, the auto import function. 
So let's focus on the on the pug dog again and open up import settings in the importer. So there is this auto import function, uh, this auto import setting in the import settings. If you turn this on, what will happen is any anytime you make changes to the PSD document and you switch back to Photoshop, it will automatically it will automatically re-import the visible layers inside the inside Unity. So if you save import settings and if we have auto import on we don't even need the importer window open. So let's switch back to Photoshop and maybe let's draw some let's draw a little something on the on the dog. Say maybe oops what's that Let's draw a little moustache on the doggy, save it, and if you switch back to Unity, uh, one thing you have to be careful of is that Unity will automatically re-import all of the visible layers, so if you switch back, it will actually re-import everything. But as you can see, there we go, the moustache appeared automatically on the dog. So that's it for the Unity um, PSD importer. Uh, I, let's, I hope that you find this useful and maybe you can contribute to, the, to this open source project as well. So thanks for your time and goodbye.